Hello. Hello, everyone. I got something to ask. Has this been happening lately? Have you been experiencing this? For the past few times I've been going outside, stay, if, I, if I stay outside for maybe 10, 15 minutes or 20 minutes, um, I come back in and my nose is running. I've got like allergies and then it doesn't take long before it literally starts bothering my eyes. My nose runs. I'm sneezing a lot. Are you all experiencing this too? Has it been happening to you lately? Uh, of course, they're up in the sky. It don't look too pretty. It's not a blue sky, if you know what I mean. But this is this is this is wild, because um, it was like the other day, two days ago. I went outside. I was only out there. Hello, Applebrook. I was only out there for, well, I was out there for thirty minutes, uh, off and on doing messing with my dryer vent and stuff. But by the time I came back inside that night, I thought, oh my gosh, I can't quit sneezing. My nose can't quit running. Um, and then the next day, which was, uh, I don't know if it was yesterday or something, all day long, I just felt, wow. And then this morning I woke up and my eyes, they had, they looked, they had bags under them, you all. I've only probably three times in my life have I ever got like bags, like puffy area under my under my eyes. And I think it's because I've went outside and whatever's in the air is affecting me. And hello, everyone. I don't know if, if you're experiencing the same thing. Like I just went outside a while ago. I, I wanted to make these two little thin pieces of doors, like maybe 24 inches um, by, um, I don't know, 29 opening up real thin wood I had some wood I wanted to put on an opening in the wall uh, and um, just being out there the sky is like it is and I'm sneezing as soon as I come back in I'm sneezing my nose is running and I've just had to take a Benadryl uh, because of it I think this is on the increase I really never experienced this during this time of year I'm really a very healthy individual I am and I don't take no medicine or anything like that. But this, what's, what's something's in the air, something's in the air that is causing allergy-like symptoms. Um, yeah. Benadryl knocks you out. Well, I have to take it very, very sparingly. Uh, and it, it's something I really don't take, uh, except it took like a half of a thing right now because of my runny nose just from walking outside in my eyes they're gonna get it from being outside and i'm getting drainage from it it, it, it all it took is like a few minutes for it to happen yeah it, it'll put you to sleep so don't take too much of it at all you i don't um you're you're better off not taking anything unless you can help it you can't help it um it's in the air or, well, I've, I've been having an increase in high-pitched sounds in my ears, too. Very high-pitched uh, in this ear and this ear. Um, so, yeah, y'all, please give this video a thumbs up. Something is, um, there's something in the air. <laughs> there really is something in the air. Um, yeah, the Benadryl will dry out anything, even if it's just a little sniffle and the eyes and the sneezing. You don't want to go around sneezing because... It's, you know what, if you go around sneezing, if you watch some people when they sneeze, they don't they don't cover their mouth. I was told the proper way to sneeze, and this is how I taught my children, if you had to sneeze, if you don't have a handkerchief or something, you go like this, you can sneeze in your arm, in your shirt, and or on your on your shoulder or cover your mouth. You don't want to sneeze and have all that stuff flying out there on everybody else. It's kind of yucky. It is really. Um yeah, same on your intuition told you to stop going outside February. Puffy eyes, yeah, is an indication of, yeah, it was something. Because I, I woke up this morning and I looked in the mirror and I thought, um, I felt like I had been awake, but then I had puffy area under my eye. I did walk around my yard yesterday. I took a one walk around my yard. So it probably took around 20 minutes. Uh, I was outside 20 or 30 minutes yesterday also, but I woke up like that. And I've just been feeling kind of um, not up to my full self when I'm when I'm out there. And I love to be outdoors, but I'm when I look up there and I don't see a pretty blue sky, I think I should not stay out too long at all. I think I should stay in uh, with the fluctuation in temperatures. And 
the fluctuation in the color of the sky too, you all. There could be mode spores or anything. There's no telling, but um, I can't be the only one experiencing it, you all. Um, I can't, and um, I'm sure there's people who are experiencing it in different states, even dry states, okay, where the air is really dry. It, it's kind of humid in Indiana where I'm living at. But yeah, the hearing turns on and off, then a high-pitched buzz. Yeah, and, I, and this ear right here, you know how it feels like if you had water in your ear, but I don't have water in my ear, but um, it's like um, it's like a tenderness on the inside of this ear. I could I could feel like I don't know something strange was in there. Uh, I don't feel it now, but I, I felt it last night. I really did. Um, you're in Maryland. Um, yeah, you are. So has it been happening to you all? The sneezing and the eye, eye watery eyes and your nose and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, when you walk outside, when you're outside, just for a few moments. Um, because it's had an effect on me, which I'm a, I'm a very healthy individual, uh, except for that kind of stuff right there. Yeah, that's right. Um, you posted a photo. Well, I, I was going to do a thing of the video of the sky outside showing the not so blue sky. <laughs> it's like a whitewash. You know how you can whitewash your uh, furniture and stuff and things like that? And the sky been whitewashed. Yeah, it's happening to you too. Yeah, well, I don't want to keep you all too long at all. I don't. Uh, I'm going to get off of here, but I just wanted to say, has it been happening? Is this happening to you? Is what I want to say. So um, thank you all for coming on here. And you can just put your comment down there below. And thank you moderators for being on there. So with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you, and um, have a wonderful rest of your evening. And thank you for coming on here, and thank you for your, your input, because, you know, we need to know what's happening in our states and in the states around us and in, in the country. We need to know what's happening in other people's lives, too. Are they experiencing the same thing? Uh, we got to document this stuff, you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you.